So here's the deal. Materialists will tell you that consciousness is just neurons firing your brain like some biological machine. Instead, Roger Penrose contradicts this, theorizing that thought itself is quantum, taking a physicalist approach. Why? Your brain's microtubules, tiny protein structures inside neurons, aren't just support beams. They might be quantum processors, running computations at a level that we can't even see. If he's right, then your consciousness isn't just in your brain, it's entangled with the fundamental structure of reality itself. Now, let's take it further. If the universe is a 4D hypersphere, a continuous climb battle of existence, then what we call consciousness isn't just an emergent property, it's a field, a structure. Your thoughts could be quantum fluctuations interacting with higher dimensional space, meaning your awareness isn't just stuck in your skull. Penrose says consciousness collapses quantum states. But what if that collapse doesn't just happen? What if it's a tether, a connection between your perception and a broader, higher dimensional framework? So yeah, Penrose's theory says consciousness is quantum. My theory? It's spatial, entangled, and a part of the topology of existence itself. And if that's true, then what you think is just a brain function is something way bigger.